So this is the tree we're dealing with. Okay, see the 23 foot pole against that tree? That's the one we're gonna try to estimate the height of. The reason is, if you look over this way beyond the cars, um, we got some Leland Cypress trees and a fence. The distance from the face of that big tree to this fence is a little over 83 feet. Since we're up First of all, for triangulation, you need to understand what a right triangle is. In a right triangle, at least one corner is a 90 degree angle. The other two angles could be equal if it's a uh, equidistance opposite equals adjacent here. Most of the time, we're not going to have that in this situation. If you look at this angle here, the tangent of that angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite or the adjacent lengths. For a tree, that you're talking about the height over the distance to the tree. There is a website, it's the big BC Big Tree website at the University of British Columbia. This is a really good resource for triangulation methods, which includes describing how to compensate for trees on slopes. This is a link to their website. Apps are also available that use virtual reality to estimate tree height. I actually tried one of them. And, uh, but smartphones have level apps that make it easier to do the measurements without a special app. And that's what we're going to try to do here. It's reading right at 45. The iPhone will let it zero again and put it on there. And I'm being careful to put the buttons off the edge of that. There we go, 45. So it's good. I'd say this measure app does a good job of measuring a level and inclination. So we're going to use it. A level app is a great way to uh, measure incline uh, or angles up to the top of a tree. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm sure there's other uh, phones with uh, similar apps, but on this one, you just press that measure app and there's actually both measure function and level function. You want the level function there. What you want to first do is zero, zero, let it go green. Then it can, you aim it like you're looking up the, towards the top of the tree. Then you can take a screenshot by pressing the volume up button down here and the side button there simultaneously. So we'll see if we can do that. Then you've got it stored in your photos and there it is. So of course you can orient whichever way you want. So that's a convenient way to out in the field by yourself to um, measure the, uh, the angle up to the top of a tree and store it in your photos. One of the methods for triangulating tree height involves measuring your eye height relative to the ground, to get that distance. So I tried different things using a plumb bob and well, it didn't work too well, so I came up with this. Where I just get up next to something straight, it's pretty much plumb, and then try to position this so it's about uh, even where I'm looking straight ahead. Of course, and mark the spot. The problem is I'm not looking straight ahead when I'm looking at the top of a tree. I'm more looking like up there, something like that, about 45 degree angle up. So if I'm looking up at that spot, that's a little higher, so I mark, mark there. Because that's when I'm looking up at the top of the tree, that's more realistic for what that height should be. And then to, for the bottom, I look at my feet, put a mark on my shoe, where that is, and that should be about even of where my height of my eye is, kind of holding up the uh, iPhone, doing the uh, inclination measurement. So I've also found that I've gotten shorter and fatter which is very disturbing. So we'll go out and do a little more work outside. Okay, we're measuring the length of this extension pole. It's supposed to be a 23 foot pole. Fully extended it is one, two, three, about three inches longer than 23 feet. Pretty close there. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna use that uh, iPhone inclination method to um, measure the height of that uh, pole. We've already measured it at 23 feet, three inches. So 
Okay, first thing I do is position the mark on my shoe, correlating with my eye position. On the uh, put that on a tape measure where I want it, and then uh, I'll use the iPhone and the level app, sight along the top of it, the top of the pole, get three measurements and average them, um, and uh, do screenshots of each, me each measurement so it's an easy way to record it. And then uh, I got an average of 37.33 for three different measurements. 37, 37, 38. So we'll use that, get the tangent of it, uh, and triangulate the height. On an iPhone, when you're in the calculator uh, app, you can just rotate it, and it will go to the scientific uh, version, which has the trig functions, which you're going to need for this. The uh, height measurement to my eye was 5 feet 4 inches, which is 5.33. So what I'm going to do is first clear the memory constant, excuse me, clear the memory, and then uh, plug in that 5.33. We'll do memory plus, okay? If you leave something in the memory, do memory plus, it'll just add it to it. But we want to leave that in there because that's the constant. If you're measuring different trees, that height really isn't changing. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to clear that, okay? Our three measurements... Uh, Outside, I usually do three at least uh, of the angle. I got two 37, 37, 38 averages together, and it's 37.33. Okay, and we'll multiply or take the tangent of that. Hit just hit tangent button. It's a tangent. Multiply that times the distance where my feet, mark of my feet was at 23.25 feet. Um, that equals that. And then what we're going to do is add that plus memory recall, the 5.33i height. That equals 23.06. Okay, that's how you can do that. That's really close to the 23.25. Um, there's going to be inaccuracies in all this, differences in level between the base of the tree and where you're standing. And, and if it's mostly level like it was in our case, you can get pretty close. Also, the, the level app only measures in one degree increments, so you can't get any more accurate than that with it. So we, this is good enough to, uh, to measure our a tree, so we'll give that a go. I've superimposed a uh, red colored right triangle on this photograph of our tree. This is the big tree we're dealing with. See the angle of it leaning towards the cars, a very dangerous situation. Um, in this case, the height, H, would be height from the top of the foliage down to basically eye level if I was looking straight at it. Total height is height from the top of the foliage. It includes my eye height. So over here, this is the angle, theta. I'm looking at up the top, estimating where the top of the tree is, looking at it with my uh, iPhone and the level app. And... Uh, and I took a screenshot, get the angle of theta, and uh, I've already measured my um, eye height looking up at about uh, five feet, uh, four inches, or about 5.33 feet. Um, so basically, what we did, so you can just calculate the tangent of that angle, tangent 49 equals 1.15, that was the angle, 49. Height, eye height, 5.33. And uh, so add those together, that gives us a total height of 80 feet. And actually that correlates well with a, uh, a uh, App Store app that I got using uh, uh, basically uh, um, augmented reality methods to estimate tree height. It came out at one, I did it twice. One got 80 and one got 81 feet. So we're pretty close there. So... Um, our question is, to go forward from here, is, okay, if we just cut the tree down near the base, um, at that 80, just over 83 feet to the fence is going to be really close. We may have to cut it up higher uh, to, so there's less horizontal distance when it falls. Uh, we got a tree, tree expert coming out uh, tomorrow to give us an estimate on... Uh, 
what they would charge to at least uh, help us with this to remove some of the risk. So, but basically that's how you do it, and it, this method's actually worked pretty well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please like it and subscribe. Click on the links at the end. One of them will take you to um, our last video where we showed how we sawed off this, this big limb with a rope saw. And then the other one will take you to some of our other videos. So, and there's a round uh, anisotropic plus subscribe button. So thank you. Appreciate it. And, uh, and I hope you'll uh, keep watching our future videos. Thank you.